Distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks are a significant challenge in network security, often resulting in financial, reputational, and operational losses for both individuals and businesses. Despite the implementation of various strategies and solutions, these threats persist. Therefore, understanding the differences between DOS and DDoS, implementing preventive measures, and knowing how to respond post-attack are crucial. Understanding DOS and DDoS attacks. Denial of service or DOS attacks aim to overwhelm a target system's resources, rendering it unresponsive akin to a crowd trying to enter a small room simultaneously. These cyber attacks target applications or websites making services unavailable to legitimate users. Attackers might flood a network with excessive data, exploit server vulnerabilities or use reflection amplification, misleading targets with high volume traffic from third-party servers, making it difficult to trace the attack's origin. When multiple machines collaborate in such an attack, it's termed a distributed denial of service, or DDoS attack. DDoS attackers often control botnets, armies of compromised computers, including vulnerable Internet of Things or IoT devices. These devices, often with weak security, can be hijacked to execute extensive cyber attacks. Some attackers even rent out their botnets for profit. Preparing for a DDoS attack. Preparation is key to protecting digital assets. Begin by identifying your online services and their vulnerabilities, focusing on critical services. Basic cybersecurity measures can strengthen your defenses. Ensure your web application firewall or WF covers all essential assets, acting as a security guard to filter malicious traffic. Understanding user connections to your network, whether on-site or via virtual private networks or VPNs is also important. Consider specialized DDoS protection services in addition to your internet service providers or ISP's protections. These services can detect and block malicious traffic, identifying attack sources. Engage with your ISP and cloud service provider or CSP to understand their DDoS protections. To avoid a single point of failure, ensure your systems and network have high availability and load balancing. Develop a DDoS response plan detailing detection, response, and recovery steps. This plan should ensure continuous communication and business continuity during an attack. Responding to a DDoS attack. During a DDoS attack, signs include unusual network lags, high CPU and memory usage, traffic spikes, and website unavailability. If you suspect an attack, contact technical experts and your ISP to determine the disruption source and appropriate actions. Identify the IP addresses used in the attack, analyze server and network usage, and implement mitigation measures. Packet captures or PC apps can help understand the attack, verifying if your firewall blocks malicious traffic. Tools like Wireshark can analyze network traffic. Work with service providers to deploy mitigations and implement configuration changes. Ensure all stakeholders understand their roles in intervention and recovery. Monitor other network assets as DDoS attacks may serve as distractions for secondary attacks. Remain vigilant for signs of compromise during and after the attack. Recovering from a DDoS attack. After a DDoS attack, continuously monitor your network for abnormalities or suspicious activities, indicating potential secondary attacks. Update your DDoS response plan with lessons learned and regularly test it to ensure effectiveness. Proactive network monitoring, establishing a baseline of regular activity, can help detect deviations and provide early warnings of potential attacks. Configure alerts to notify administrators, enabling quick response. Staying ahead of DDoS threats. The frequency and sophistication of DDoS attacks continue to grow. Proactive measures and continuous vigilance are essential. Keeping systems updated, diligently monitoring networks, and fostering a culture of cybersecurity awareness can minimize attack impacts. It's not just about deflecting current threats, but also preparing for future challenges. Staying informed and prepared is your strongest defense in the ever-evolving landscape of digital threats. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe, like, and comment for more videos.